Hello, it's 9 p.m. in RTD. It's time to English New Edition for tonight's headlines. We have... The signature of a partnership agreement uh, with the UNDP and Minister of Finance. For the international scene in Middle East, uh, pro-Palestinian mobilization in Europe and North America. Welcome to our newsroom. A large number of high-ranking uh, foreign officials uh, delegation, including heads of state and government uh, with, uh, who participate in the ceremony to inaugurate the president for a new term, left the capital today. More than dozens of foreign officials delegation uh, from friendly country who participated yesterday in the inauguration of the president of the Republic, Smail Omar Gheli. This event served as a constitutional crowning uh, for the re-election of the president of the Republic following his brilliant victory in the elections of April 9, 2021. The Minister of uh, Defense in charge of relations with Parliament, uh, Mr. Hassan Umar Mohammed, uh, received today the courtesy visit of the Ambassador of Pakistan to the Republic of Djibouti, Chozab Abbas. This visit is part of the strengthening of partnership ties between the two countries. Uh, during this uh, meeting, the Ambassador of the Republic of Pakistan, Mr. Shazab Abbas, reviewed with, with the Minister of Defense several bilateral and regional issues of common interest, including bilateral relations between the Republic of Djibouti and the Republic of Pakistan. The Minister and the Ambassador welcomed the strong and historic ties of friendship and cooperation between the two countries, reiterating their determination to work toward consolida consolidating and expanding from them further. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Mahmoud Ali Yusuf, received this morning the Yemeni Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Ahmed Awad bin Mubarak. The latter was accompanied by the Yemeni Ambassador to Djibouti, Mr. Abdullah Musallam al Sukhatri, and his special advisor, Mr. Salim Awad. The, the meeting focused on the topics uh, of common interest. The two ministers reviewed with the bilateral relations between the two brotherly countries and the ways and means to improve them further, especially through this holding of the, of the joint commission is very soon. Uh, the discussion is uh, they discussed the latest development in the situation in Yemen. In this regard, the Yemeni minister briefed the head of the Egyptian diplomacy on the effort made by his government to achieve a, a political solution to the Yemeni crisis. The Minister of Finance, uh, Elias Musa Dawale, proceeded to the signing of a partnership agreement with the UNDP, represented by Ms. Fatima El Sheikh. Indeed, the signing of this consolidating partnership with UNDP is a portfolio document that brings together multiple sources of funding uh, for the socio-economic recovery, mobilized uh, for the con uh, contributing partners, including USAID, UNDP, uh, and budget allocation. Uh, the Danish government uh, to fund and UN trust fund for the SDG and uh, the contribution is uh, the total portfolio among uh, 6 million Djibouti uh, francs. The portfolio is intended to support policy with uh, governance, national development plan, financial inclusion, the sustainable development goals, process the digital economy, inclusion, livelihood, interventionist promotion, and social enterprises, uh, entrepreneurship, sustainable finance, including the integrated national financing uh, framework. Uh, now listen to the representative of UNDP in Djibouti, Fatima El-Sheikh. 
this opportunity to um, congratulate His Excellency the President of the Republic on the new mandate and uh, um, the new inauguration of uh, His uh, Excellency uh, yesterday. I think on behalf of UNDP team and myself, um, it's a great opportunity to be partner to Djibouti and His Excellency on the next uh, vision of uh, um, inclusive and developed uh, uh, and uh, Institutionally strength. I am quite delighted today to um, uh, join this signature of the contribution agreement between UNDP and the Ministry of Finance. This is a portfolio uh, management, which is our first portfolio management in UNDP in Djibouti for the socioeconomic recovery from COVID. Uh, the envelope is around $6 million. It's mainly targeting socioeconomic recovery at different uh, level of stream from social and economic planning to uh, the component of uh, helping small and medium enterprises to private sector promotion and investment opportunities in Djibouti. The document is part of UNDP commitment to the socioeconomic recovery and based on the call of the, the future generation for a better resilient economic uh, development in Djibouti. I want to thank His Excellency the Minister of Finance for his uh, trust and confidence in UNDP as a lead technical partner for the socioeconomic recovery in Djibouti. And I want to also take the opportunity to thank our donors particularly the U.S. government, who is a major contributor uh, through rising Djibouti envelope, and the uh, Danish government and the UNDP core contribution. Thank you so much, Excellency, and I wish you all the best in the implementation, and we remain to be guided, guided by the government vision for the um, socioeconomic recovery from COVID. Thank you. The Minister of Finance, Ilyas Musa Dawale, has indicated among the expected outcomes of this agreement are transformative policy to accelerate the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals, uh, in mitigate uh, the socioeconomic impact of COVID-19, and recover quickly from the socioeconomic uh, crisis. Uh, and finally, sustainable financial inclusion is uh, to catalyze economic uh, empowerment and economic uh, diversification. The Committee of the National Assembly in charge of production and exchanges meet this morning in the meeting in the committee room of the parliament for the discussions of a new bill repealing and replacing the law on the creations of radio television of uh, Djibouti RTD. These bills aim to correct the legal forms of the establishment of adapting the legal framework or set up by the law, the legal regime of public enterprises, this uh, charge is the legal nature of RTD is essential in order to start its uh, uh, re re readjustment uh, process uh, and the objective of this present bill is in line with the missions of RTD which we can mention is in particular the safeguard of uh, the cultural identity, the consolidation of the sovereignty, the unity, and the national solidarity, the effective support of the actions undertaken by the government, but also the conform more to the technological mutations uh, which dominate uh, nowadays uh, all the platforms of the communication, namely the latest uh, revolutions of the technology and information is of and communication. This session is was chaired by the chair of the Parliamentarian Committee on Production and Trade, Mr. Ilya Ismail uh, Geddi. The meeting at, was attended by the Minister of Communication in charge of post telecommunication, Mr. Radwan Abdullahi Bahdon, the Director General of RTD, Mr. Mahmoud Suleiman Hared. The Minister of National Education Vocational Training, Mustafa Mohamed Mahamouda, has proceeded today to the official launch of the training of trainees inspector of the national uh, education. The ceremony took place at the training center for basic education, Omar Ghele Ahmed, in the presence of the senior men FOP, including the Secretary General, Mr. Mohamed Abdullah Mahyoub, the two inspector general, Musa Ismail Abdu and Mahdi Omar Farah, as well as uh, the Director General of the Education, uh, Mr. Abdi Dirir Gedi Gire and Aisha Farah Itre, uh, the Executive Secretary of UNESCO, Musa Muhammad uh, 
Mohamed Musayabe, this uh, one man's uh, training is fundamental because it serves as a first uh, approach to the profession of inspector, will cover a series of modules in these cases at the depth of knowledge to the distribution education system, ICT, ethics, and professional conduct, and will be provided by the two experienced inspectors, in this case, Mr. Mukhaled uh, Abdel Aziz, uh, currently executive of secretary and the observator of quality, and Mr. Daoud Zaid, technical advisor to the minister. And the Minister of Education and his, his staff and his staff came this morning and paid a visit to us and the minister, uh, you know, gave us instructions and said uh, it is very important to uh, have this type of uh, training and this training is concerns uh, the educational uh, system of of Ministry of Education and different departments and how the minister uh, functions. And he also said that um, after we finish this, we will uh, go for a training in Tunisia, which will be for six months. So I'm very happy to be here. In a speech delivered on this occasion, the Minister of National Education and Vocational Training, Mustafa Mohamed Mahmoud, said that this uh, first training was only on simple preparations before the qualifying training that inspectors will follow in Tunisia. As usual, and in order to prevent excess express uh, due to the excessive alcohols on the eve of the Idel Fitr, the gendarmes of the Brigade 6 7 districts have uh, aborted an illegal supply of stock of uh, contraband alcohol. Uh, beverage. Uh, indeed, the following information is cross checked in this evening of May 11, 2021. Uh, for women known to the services of gendarmerie for trafficking and illegal. Uh, scale of uh, alcohol beverage were arrested on the border of the cab. The searches uh, carried out uh, on this cab by the ins investigators of the Brigade 67 allowed the discovery of uh, 13 uh, batch of, of uh, alcohol drinks. Uh, checks made one arrested. The person has uh, uh, licenses uh, authorizing uh, him to the sell these alcohol drinks and required by the law enforces in our country. At the end of the investigation, they will be brought to justice to answer for their access. The historic day commemorates uh, the day of uh, creation of the international movement of the Red Cross and of the Red Cross Center, the tradition of the All Wanted, the branch of Tajura, branches uh, of the Red Crescent Djibouti organizes, uh, like all its uh, peers, uh, the celebrations of this historic day. Indeed, this year's uh, the team chosen is uh, unstoppable, which means uh, for the movement in a general way was uh, unstoppable in front of COVID-19, which had uh, stopped uh, everything in the world for these purpose. The branch organized a day of discussion is in the presence of the branch's committee as well as local authority. The representative of the CM hash and the deconcentrated services, including the local councils of Tajora. Thereafter, the branch is presented some of the actions carried out on the ground of the volunteers during the COVID-19 period. The deputy prefect, Mr. Habib Jilani, and the vice president of the regional council, Mr. Abdul Qadir Umar, took the floor in turn to congratulate and encourage the volunteers we gave all their effort uh, during this uh, meeting. On the occasion of this celebrations of the World Day at the Red Crest, uh, Red Crest and uh, Red Crescent, the member of the Red Crescent Committee of the Dikhil branch organized it these mornings in the different neighborhoods of the city of Dikhil awareness activity whose uh, team was together, we continue to fight against uh, the spread of COVID-19. At the end of this activity, the volunteers uh, sensitized the inhabitants of the different neighborhood uh, to the respect of the barrier gestures and uh, gestures to adopt uh, in the front of the pandemic of COVID-19, which continues to, to tutor their whole 
humanity. After this sensitization activity, the Dechel branches took the opportunity to organize uh, in the afternoon a meeting and interview in which they invited all the local actors who have uh, strongly contributed to the size of uh, the Red Crescent of Dechel in order to protect uh, its uh, population against the pandemic of COVID-19, namely the prefecture, the regional council, the military and civil authority, the deconstruct the authorities, the services, uh, in particular the CM of Dechel. And now we learned the death of our colleague Saeed Kamil Ilmi, who joined this last, his last uh, heavenly homes yesterday to, in Djibouti. Brilliant journalist, the deceased Saeed Kamil, was born in, 19, uh, in 1961 in Djibouti. He started his career in the uh, 1980s. At radio journalists, uh, he then became head of the Somali section on of the radio. Among those who have always worked to inform their fellow citizens here on radio television, is that he was uh, known for his uh, unlimited altruism, his kindness, and his noble contributions uh, for those. Uh, who knew him. Uh, some still remembers the feeling of the esteem, love, and loyalty known as of the deceased. Uh, he was uh, and will remain a humble and generous uh, man who marked uh, his time. The Director General of RTD and all the staff uh, salute the, the memory of, the, of these men and present uh, their sincere condolence to the family of the deceased, all his uh, relatives wishing that God welcome him into his eternal paradise. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. For the international scene, uh, ten thousands of uh, demonstrators took the street of several cities in Europe and North America on Saturday in support of the Palestinians in the ongoing clashes with Israel. In London, thousands of people demonstrated in the city center calling on the British government to intervene to stop the Israeli military operation. In Rome, several hundred people gathered near the Basilica of uh, Santa Maria carrying a uh, uh, large Palestinian flag and uh, chanting uh, slogans in Germany. Thousands of people demonstrated on Berlin and in several cities at the call, at the call for of a pro-Palestinian group. Uh, as in Europe, thousands of demonstrators took the street in the United States and Canada. Some 2,000 demonstrators uh, gathered in New York and uh, the Brooklyn districts chanting free Palestine and uh, waving Palestinian flag rallies uh, and uh, took places in other American cities including Boston, Washington in Canada. There were also several thousands in Montreal and uh, Toronto in uh, Tunisia demonstrating took place in several cities that hundreds of demonstrators dropped the Palestinian flag gathered in the center of Tunisia uh, before marching down Habib Bourguiba street uh, watching by the police. This is it uh, for the news. Thanks for watching us. Uh, have a good evening.